Greetings. This uh, screencast is about Moodle and creating journals and the assignment module in Moodle. Uh, it came about as I was reading a posting that uh, journal is going to disappear in Moodle and be replaced by the same thing in the assignment module. I wasn't aware of that. Uh, in fact, I wasn't even aware that the journal or that the there was an option in the assignment module for creating a journal. So let's go ahead and walk through it and see what it looks like. This is a test, of course, test of the journal. And I'll put in some blah blah here. That's all necessary. Actually, you know what? Why don't we put in my put in my outline, control A, control C, let's see if that works. It does! Good. <clears throat> so grade, this is something that really just uh, I would like to add right now that Moodle needs in the assignment module is a way to say if a student submits anything they automatically get some points here um, and it would be great if that was connected to a word count uh, let's go back and actually add that um, to this right here, Moodle assignment module needs um, automatic points for submitting something. Uh, point system as well. Point system points given for word count. I understand that word count is not a terrific indicator of performance, but it does indicate effort to a certain extent as well. So. Um, anything to maximize the relative feedback to a student uh, automatically is the goal. Um, teachers are busy and an automatic automatic tools like uh, giving points for submitting something and doing a basic word count uh, at least feeds the, uh, feeds the need of students to get some kind of feedback from a busy teacher. So, going back to the forum, or to the assignment module, again, automatic points for submitting something like you see in the workshop, um, available from, prevent late submissions, yes, no. Now this is where the journal appears. Online text, I'm pretty sure is what it means. Uh, let's check to see what the help says. Yeah. Okay, assignment types available. Clearly, we have a uh, <clears throat> not enough inf information in the help. This would be a great place for a wiki link to go to the Moodle site and uh, update this particular piece of information because teachers are not generally very uh, investigative when it comes to problems. If they don't have a solution right there, often they will give up. They are busy and they are not necessarily computer trained or have a uh, inherent curiosity to dig out problems or dig out for solutions. They want solutions. They don't want to go look for them. So online text, visible students, yes, click next. Uh, the assignment, allow resubmitting an email alerts, comment in line. I don't know what that means. Let's see what that find what that means. If this option the original submission will be copied in the feedback comment during grading, make an easier comment in line using a different color you know, blah blah. Okay, I don't know what that means either. Uh, nothing here on word count, displaying word count, or spell check, uh, or automatic grading, or automatic points for submitting something, continue. Journal also doesn't necessarily show um, how many versions or how many times the student has edited the journal. So let's go take a look at it. 
I'm going to edit my submission. Okay, it provides a basic WYSIWYG. Let's F11 make that a little bigger. Uh, okay, let's see. Luckily, the instructions are up at the top. That's good. So students would be able to have the instructions for the help. All right, so let's go ahead and post that just for giggles. Save changes. All right. Um, changes have been saved. Great. Do you zero submitted assignments? I've just submitted one. What is this? Um, okay. Um, I update this assignment. Save all my feedback. Allow quick grading is on. Uh, last modified, okay, comments. If I click on this, what am I going to get? 84 words. Okay, that right there, this information should be here. Those 84 words tell me whether or not I should bother even reading uh, a journal submission if I say in the text that the journal needs to be 250 words or 200 words minimum. If they've only written 10 words, I know I can ignore it. So let's go and edit this submission and see if it actually indicates whether or not there's been a second version or whether or not the teacher or the student has um, edited. Does journal show whether or not it has been edited more than once. So save changes. That's zero submitted assignments. That's still not correct, but that's all right. 96 words. It doesn't show version here. <clears throat> so edit submission. Let's go take a look at the zero submitted, which is still incorrect. It doesn't show the version, uh, so that's uh, not good. Status, grade, no grade. If I give it a zero and some blah blah here, is that going to change the status from grade to graded? Let's see. Um, this save preferences or save all feedback should be at the top of the screen as well because I don't have to scroll all the way up and down to be able to submit the same thing so save all my feedback yes yeah beautiful try again Beautiful. Connection reset. I know the internet works because, well, because right now I'm streaming news into my headphones. Try again. Click OK. Okay, so um, points given for word count. Uh, show version number of journal edit. What was the other thing? Oh, move, submit, or place submit feedback button at the top. At top and bottom of grading page. Control S. Save that. Still hasn't loaded. So, well, um, that's it.
<clears throat> Moodle assignment module, it does allow for journals. It needs automatic points for submitting something. Should give points for word count. It sh should also show word count. Um, should show word count. And should show version number of journal edit. And please put the submit feedback bottom button at top and bottom of grading page. Share your wealth, people. Create your own screencasts and publish them, especially as it applies to Linux or Edge Ubuntu. Educational applications like Moodle. Um, show us how to set up networks, setting up user IDs, setting up LTSP. It's all about school networks. It's all about making people smarter and making teachers' jobs easier. <clears throat> Thank you for your time. And uh, if you want to do the same thing in terms of setting up your own screencast, I demo studio on my XP box and VNC over usually to my Edge Ubuntu machine. In this case, I just uh, demo studioed my own XP box. Uh, thank you, and if you have any questions or suggestions, or if this helps you in any way, send me an email and let me know. Happy moodling, and we'll talk to you soon.